On your Motorola Edge 60 Fusion, first of all, go to Settings. In the Settings, scroll down until you find an option that is called Backup or Copy Data. Select this option and then choose Copy Data using Android Switch. After that, you can press Start. And then we need to choose what was our previous device. In my case, it was an Android device. And if you use most likely the same account, I'm not sure if that's really necessary to use the same Google account, but you might see a pop-up where you can easily start transferring. However, we're going to first select Android and there we go. As you can see, this is the pop-up. If you don't get it on your old phone, you will need to scan the QR code on your old phone. So over here, I can now press start in order to try to make the connection between these two phones. In this case, I actually need to scan the QR code. So let me quickly do that. There we go. We need to verify ourselves on the old phone. And let's wait for the connection to be established. Now over here we can proceed and press next in the bottom right corner. Now we have the instruction that we can use the original cable that we have inside the box of Edge 60 Fusion and we need to connect both devices together with the cable. On the other hand, you can also choose cable doesn't fit, and then we can choose to copy without cable. But in this case, we are asked to actually use a backup that we have on our Google account. So that's about it. This is how we can transfer data using Android Switch. Of course, if you finally connect with the cable, you should be able to select whatever you want to transfer. And in some cases, you might be able to connect even wirelessly. However, I have issues with Wi-Fi on my old phone, so this might be the reason why I cannot actually do this. There is also another way to transfer data. If you have issues with Android Switch, if you cannot transfer data like this, you can use a third-party app, for example, the Send Anywhere app. I'm gonna show you how to get it. I already have it on my old phone. On this one, of course, you will need to download the same app on both devices in order to be able to transfer data. Um, but essentially, what we need to do is go to the Play Store and we can send a search for Send Anywhere. This is, of course, one of many apps that we can use. And this is, this is just an example. If you want to try anything else, then of course, feel free to do that. All right, let's open. Once you have both, I mean, the app on both devices, you should be able to open it and let's set it up. So over here we need to select that we agree to terms and service as well as privacy policy and let's continue. There we go. We can grant access to everything so that we can actually transfer. If you see this um, update thing, then we can just press not now over here. We can check this box and then press OK. And then let's close this. Now you can use Wi-Fi Direct in order to transfer data. You can also do something like this. So on old phone, we can select whatever we want to transfer. You can choose photos, videos, audio, apps, contacts, files, etc. Um, unless you actually had like um, iPhone, for example, in that case, you cannot transfer apps, but everything else should actually be transferable. So let's select all these photos over here. There we go. Once you select everything at the bottom, we have send option. So you can tap over here. In my case, yeah, network unavailable. So let me try to fix that. All right, let's give it another try. There we go. And now we have this six digit code as well as the QR code. So on our new phone, we can go and select receive. And then over here, you can enter this code. And you can also scan the QR code by using this QR code icon over here. So let me actually enter the code over here. There we go, and let's press receive. And after that, we should be able to transfer data. There we go. Of course, depending on what you transfer and how much you transfer, it might take you uh, even a couple of minutes. But that is essentially it. So now, since I have transferred these files, I can go, let's say, to the file manager on my new phone, on to the files app. And then over here, I should be able to find these images because it was images. So there we go. Over here, I have my images. So that's about it. Check out this playlist to find more guides. Like, comment, subscribe.